When you find the perfect match uh, in terms of food and wine is when the wine brings out the delicate nuances in the food and the food does the same to the wine. Comparing food and wine is like a perfect wedding. So it's very important that you have the right wine with the right food. I always suggest uh, my guests to have uh, a good wine. Salata sana. It's a mix of greens, of course, and mix of uh, different uh, flavors. So we have uh, goji berry in the salad, we have parmesan, that, so it's uh, a little bit salty. We have asparagus and cucumber that is good for the skin, rosemary and uh, sun dried tomato for make our vinaigrette. So, as you see, we have a first course which is the insalata sana. This is a salad, uh, quite lighter, crisper salad with lots of vegetables, uh, asparagus, uh, cucumber. And because of the rosemary and the tomato dressing in it, it is going to be uh, slightly more, uh, more lighter and more acidic style. With this, you would want to pair a nice glass of Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc, why? Because uh, there is a lot of asparagus and green and vegetable characters in the drink, still maintaining a lot of acidity. You could also do something like a sparkling wine. Uh, this could be from either Champagne or it could also be a Prosecco or maybe an Indian sparkling. With lots of fruit, uh, nice softness, uh, still maintaining a lot of acidity. The next dish is a tortelloni of uh, fresh mozzarella and basil, serve it in a coulis of uh, tomato or uh, autumn vegetable. It's a fresh dish, again, a light pasta uh, with a mix of vegetable and accompanied with this nice coulis of tomato. So it's again a, a balance with uh, all the flavor. Tortellini of uh, fresh mozzarella and vegetables. Uh, basically, there is uh, going to be a bit of richness from the fresh mozzarella cheese, a bit of creaminess on the dish, there's butter, there is a lot of vegetables, there is uh, sun-dried tomatoes and uh, there's a tomato coulis which gives slight touch of uh, sweetness, ripeness and bit of the still uh, maintaining the acidity on the dish. With this, I would think uh, Riesling from a, a very cool climate like a Moselle Valley Riesling would be really nice. It still maintains the uh, acidity along with the residual sugar which perfectly balances the sweetness in the coulis and cuts through the richness from your mozzarella cheese. Or you could swing it other way by choosing a red wine which is nice and lots of fruit flavors, easy drinking like a Pinot Noir, like a Gamay from Beaujolais or maybe a, a Chianti you could say. Chianti has uh, acidity and uh, soft fruit flavors. Uh, the savouriness also uh, balances uh, along with the savoury characters in your dish. The next is going to be a timbal of uh, seafood, uh, cook it in uh, marinated and then cook it in this uh, papillot, uh, baking papillot. Again, it's, uh, it's something from the sea. Timballo in Italian means uh, something uh, uh, married together, something combined together. Uh, we marinate with some herbs, uh, with uh, Tajasca olives, uh, a little bit of garlic and a spritz of uh, lemon and then cook it for 10-15 uh, minutes in the oven. When you open, all the flavor is coming out, but again, uh, it's, uh, you feel really like if you are uh, in Costa Ligure or in, uh, in Sardinia in the moment when you open. So the next dish that we have is a timbalo of uh, seafood in which you have the sea bass, you have uh, mussels, you have clams and you have the prawns. Uh, in terms of supporting other flavors, you have this tomato, there's asparagus, there's uh, broccoli, so lots of vegetables, lots of uh, there's thyme as well in terms of a bit of more earthy, savory flavor. Uh, you could do something like a very dry, crisper sort of mineral uh, flavors in terms of Chablis. If you want a bit of uh, roundness and softness in the wine, you could go for a PFSA, which is a bit more oak on the wine. That creaminess in the oak will balance the uh, meatiness in the sea bass and still maintain a lot of acidity to complement the acidity in terms of the dish as well. Marinate is slow cooked lamb shang, serve it with uh, risotto milanese. Uh, it's something that is remaining uh, my hometown. 
Uh, it's a lamp. It's look marinated first for 24 hours with uh, herbs and vegetable and uh, white wine, and then slow cook it in the in the oven for uh, 18 hours. A lamb shank uh, cooked in its own juices, and you have a saffron risotto at the bottom, which also contributes to a bit of uh, richness to the dish. Uh, with such type of dishes, you either want a wine which has a lot of tannin to it and a bit more uh, weight. Uh, this could be either a Syrah from Northern Rhone or a Bordeaux blend. It could also be a Nebbiolo like a Barolo, Barbaresco, which has a bit of uh, dry tannin to it, which cuts through the gaminess in the dish. Or if you're not a big fan of tannins, you could go for something a bit more richer, rounder, softer in terms of like a Shiraz from Barossa Valley. You could do uh, maybe Chaton of the Pop, or you could do maybe a Capso, but uh, that could be from Chile or maybe Argentina in Malbec. Everything contributes to uh, you know uh, the richness of the dish and the weight which the dish has. When you have a great food and great wine, it's like a synthetic. It's like you combine uh, the beautiful day with uh, a nice uh, sun. So all the flavor in one dish, it's get uh, more uh, flavor and more, more uh, glamour, we can say, if you have a good wine going with. When you have the perfect uh, pairing in terms of food and wine, is uh, the wine gets out the delicate nuances in the food and the food does the same thing for the wine and uh, nothing overpowers each other, this is like uh, firecrackers on your palate.